Hi there, it's Diane. Welcome to my basement. Today, we are just going to be labeling numbers. We're going to say if numbers are composite, prime, or square. So, what's the first question you should ask yourself? What's a composite number? What's a prime number? And what are square numbers? Well, let's find out. Open your workbook to page 63. Composite numbers. A composite number is a number that can be represented by equal groups of two or more objects. So here we have three equal groups of five. There's five in this group, five in that group, and five dots in that group. So 15 can either be three equal groups of five or five equal groups of three. That means that 15 is a composite number. You can divide it evenly, the number 15, into groups of two or more objects. Would the number six be a composite number? Yes, because I can divide the number six into groups of two, three times, or into groups of three, two times. So the number six is also a composite number. What about prime numbers? What's a prime number? A prime number is a number that cannot, that's important, cannot be represented by equal groups of two or more objects because there is a remainder. So let's look at the number 11. If I was to divide the number 11 into one, two, three, four, five groups, 11 into five groups, we could have two two, four, six, eight, ten, but then there would be a remainder. If I had two groups of five, there would also be a remainder. So it is not possible to make equal groups of two objects or more with the number 11. Other prime numbers include three, five, seven, and nine. There's an infinite amount of prime numbers. There's many, many, many. However, these are just a few of them. It's also to note that the numbers 0 and 1 are neither prime numbers nor composite numbers. So 0 is not a prime number and 0 is not a composite number. 1 is not a prime number, and one is not a composite number. So what about square numbers? A square number is a number that has two identical factors. It can be represented with the help of a square, whose sides each have the same number of square units as a factor. So here we see one, one square. One times one is one. One is a square number. Two by two, so there's two across the top and two sideways. Two times two is four. Four is a square number. See, it makes a big square. Three is a square number. 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 3 across the top, 3 squares along the side, so 3 times 3 is 9. 1, 4, and 9 are all square numbers. So now you should understand what composite numbers are, prime numbers, and square numbers. I just want to show you something else. If you look at a multiplication table, when we're talking about 
square numbers, look at this. One times one is one. Two times two, four. Three times three, nine. Four times four, 16. Five times five, 25. Six times six, 36. And seven times seven is 49. So our square numbers, one, four, nine, 16, 25, 36, and 49, are diagonal numbers in our multiplication table. There are diagonal numbers. So just keep that in mind. Before we move on, I also want you to remember what odd numbers are and what even numbers are. So odd numbers are numbers that in the units column have a one, three, five, seven, or nine. And our even numbers are the numbers that have in the units column uh, zero, two, four, six, or eight. You're gonna need that information on the next page. So let's go ahead and turn our page to 64. I practice. Let's complete each sentence and then represent the square number. So they're saying, let's look at C. 25 is a square number. Why? Because blank times blank is 25. So we know that with a square number, our two factors have to be the exact same number. They have to be identical. So what two numbers multiplied together equal 25? Think about it. What two numbers multiplied together equal 25? I think I heard it. Say it out loud. Yes. Five times five is 25. So five is a square number because five times five is 25. Now they want you to use the squares and prove that five across the top and five vertically down the side make a square when you shade in the area. So let's check that out. We have one, two, three, four, five squares across the horizontal line across the top. And we have one, two, three, four, five squares going down along the vertical axis there, don't we? So five, five times, one, two, three, four, five makes a square. So five times five is 25, and 25 is a square number. Let's look at D. D says 36 is a square number because blank times blank is 36. What number, when we multiply it by itself, equals 36? Well, we know five times five is 25, so it has to be higher than the number five. Oh, I heard it. Good job, six times six. Six times six is 36. That was fast. You're getting quick. All right, so six times six is 36. You need to shade in six squares across the top and six squares along the side. And your area becomes a square when you shade it in, right? You have six times six for a total of 36 squares. Wonderful. All right, so let's look at the bottom of page 64. At the bottom of page 64, they want us to draw an X in the appropriate places on the table. Now notice this table has some dark lines because they want you to look between 
the categories in each of the um, each of the columns. So let's divide the first column into two. Is the number four even or odd? You have to choose between those two, even or odd. The number four. It is even, yes. Remember that any number that ends in two, four, six, eight, or zero is even. So four is gonna be our even number. Now we look at the next two columns. They wanna know, is the number four prime or composite? Prime, if you don't remember, go back, turn the page. You're always allowed to go back, right? Prime number is a number that cannot be represented by equal groups of two or more objects, like the number 11. Composite numbers can be represented by equal groups of two or more objects. That's the difference between prime and composite. So prime, can we divide four into two equal groups? Or composite, can we divide four into two equal groups? Prime means we can't, composite means we can. Mm, four is composite because we can divide four into two groups of two, right? Do you want me to draw that? I can do that for you. The number four. So if I have the number four, I can make a group of two here and I can make a group of two here. So they look like little pig nose. So I can divide four into two equal groups of two without a remainder, so it's a composite number. Is four a square number? Now remember, square is when two numbers multiplied together, but they have to be identical. So we said one times one is one, two times two is four. So yes, four is a square number. So four is an even composite square number. An even composite square number. Let's look at the number five. Now remember, look at the first two columns. Is five even? Does it end in zero, two, four, six, eight? Or odd, it ends in a one, three, five, seven, or nine, or five, so it's an odd number. Yes. Is five a prime number or a composite number? Five. So if I was to make a five into two groups, I would have one left over. If I was to make five into three groups, I would have two left over. If I was to make five in, well, I could make it into four groups, one, two, three, four, but I still have one left over. So five is a prime number. Prime numbers are Our um, examples would be three, five, uh, seven, eleven, even the number two, actually. Okay, is five a square number? One times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine. So five is not a square number. How's it going? Is this making more sense to you? Let's try 10. Is 10 even or odd? It ends with a zero, so it is even. Is it prime or composite? So if I had the number 10, could I divide it into two equal groups? Two or more equal groups. 
it just so happens I can divide this one into two equal groups of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have two equal groups of five. So it is a composite number. Is it a square number? One times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine, four times four is 16, so I went over, it's not. There you go. I want you to try the last two on your own. Let's look at page 65. 65 number four says, continue the series of numbers. Indicate if they are a series of prime numbers, composite numbers, or square numbers. So let's look at the number one, then look at the number four, and finally the number nine. Now I know that one times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine, so, I already know these are what type of numbers? Are they prime, composite, or square? Yeah, they're square. So if I know they're square, you can write that in. S-Q-U-A-R-E, square. Then let's figure out what the next three numbers are. One times one is one, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5, 5 times 5, 25, yes, and 6 times 6 is 36. There you go. If you want, you can put a check for square numbers because we have that answer. Now we're trying to decide if B is prime or composite. Two, three, five, something, 11, something. Well, can I put two into two or more equal groups? Well, I'd only have one in each group, and we said that one is neither prime nor composite. It's only a square number. Three, can I put that into equal groups without a remainder? Two or more equal groups without a remainder? No. Five, also no. So I know that these numbers are prime. These are prime numbers. So let's see if we remember our prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 6, nope, 7, mm-hmm, 7, 8, no, 9, no, 10, no, 11, yes, they have it already there for us, 12, no, because I can divide that into 6 times 2, 13, aha, 13. So our prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. 7, 11. You owe me a Slurpee. All right. So these are, hmm, we, well, we haven't done composite, so that's a pretty good guess. Let's look. Are they composite? 4, 6, 8. Yes. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. So these are composite numbers. You can write in composite, C-O-M-P-O-S-I-T-E. I can go slower for you. C-O-M-P-O-S-I-T-E, composite. What does composite mean? It means a number that can be represented by equal groups of two or more objects. 
So we have four, six, eight, nine. Let's keep going up from nine. So after nine, 10. Can we divide 10 into equal groups? Yes, five times two is 10. What about 11? No, 11 is a prime number. What about 12? Yes, six times two is 12. So we have four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12 are composite numbers. Okay, so I think you are ready to complete your workbook. I want you to stay curious and I will see you next time.